What happened to Celsius? Celsius filed for bankruptcy. Celsius Network suddenly halting crypto withdrawals, swaps, and transfers and then filing for bankruptcy was a shock to users. So what happened to one of the largest crypto lenders in the space that was once evaluated at over $3 billion? And why did they suddenly lock 1.7 million of its users out of their accounts? In this video, you will learn what Celsius is, how it works, and its sudden turn of events. Unfortunately, the Terra Luna is not the only major crypto disaster so far in 2022, and Celsius Network has most recently joined the party to the detriment of users and the crypto space, which has made the crypto lending giant file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, thereby causing a considerable skepticism in the crypto market. Before we get into how this all happened, including why millions of users' funds are locked, Let's take a quick review of Celsius. What is Celsius Network, CEL? Celsius Network is a centralized crypto lending, borrowing, saving, and trading platform founded in 2017 and based in the U.S. How does Celsius work? Celsius allows users to deposit crypto assets such as BTC, ETH, and other stable coins to the platform. In return, investors earn an APY, annual percentage yield, that could go as high as 18%. In addition, Celsius sends back 80% of its earnings to the user base. The company uses the deposited crypto to generate profits by loaning them to other financial institutions, including crypto exchanges, for a higher interest rate. If you understand how a bank works, then you can equally understand how Celsius works because their operations are similar. Still, in the latter's case, they use cryptocurrencies instead of fiat currencies. Also, as a Celsius user, you can purchase the Celsius token, CEL, to get higher guaranteed rates and lower costs. Although the platform offers various products and services, its lending aspect is what it is well known for. Its lending protocol allows users to borrow funds and use their crypto as collateral. The business model of Celsius Network works. I mean, look at banks that have been operating for decades. They use a similar model and are still operating to date. Don't get me wrong. Celsius Network has been working for the last couple of years, gathering global interests and doing excellent. The platform was even evaluated at approximately $3.25 billion in November 2021. So, what went wrong that has made CEL join the likes of Terra Luna and become a major global crypto disaster? Let's get into that. The Celsius Disaster Banks take the money you have deposited in your bank account and loan it out to individuals for an interest rate out which they pay you. This is the same as Celsius, but in this case, they use crypto. While this is a brilliant and working business model, Celsius didn't consider how volatile cryptocurrency is, and that is where the fall of Celsius Network began. Of course, fiat currencies are volatile, but not as volatile as crypto, and we did see one BTC crumble from its ATH of $64,000 to under $20,000 in a few months. This is something that cannot happen with fiat. So, in essence, a bullish crypto market will affect the business model of Celsius, as well as a bearish market. The recent crypto value crash, whereby $2 trillion was liquidated from the coin market cap, dragging Bitcoin from about $47,000 to under $20,000 between April 2022 and June 2022, also greatly affected CEL. With the tumbling of the market, Celsius assets under management fell by 50%, from $24 billion to $12 billion, thereby facing a liquidity crisis. With this new turn of events, if every investor on the platform decides to withdraw all their funds or assets, it will be impossible, as more than half of the assets under management have been liquidated. And so, Celsius decided to halt transfers and withdraws and proceeded to lock all 1.7 million users out of their accounts, unable to access their funds. This lockdown was initiated sometime around June and is still in play, as a result, of course, there has been panic from users all over the world. The crypto lending giant stressed that the decision to freeze users' accounts resulted from extreme market conditions and promised to work hard to bring things back to normal. 
They further stated that the decision was made to protect its users and is for the benefit of the community as a whole. And let's not forget the bankruptcy thing I mentioned earlier. I know it must have been scary. Anywhere the word bankruptcy is mentioned is never a good thing. But in the case of Celsius Network, it might be. Let's see how. You must have thought, is Celsius going bankrupt? The short answer is not exactly. So why are they filing for bankruptcy? Well, the Chapter 11 bankruptcy that Celsius filed for is also known as reorganization bankruptcy, which is kind of like a petition that allows companies to still be in operations while restructuring their debts over time. So, you see, it is not totally a bad thing. Rather, it is a long shot at offering a solution to its millions of users. The Chapter 11 filing by Celsius Network was made in the hopes of getting a chance to stabilize the company. Additionally, by filing for Chapter 11, the business will gain access to a thorough restructuring that will maximize values for all investors. According to Celsius, they have $167 million to fund such an operation. As one of the most well-known platforms for lending on crypto assets, Celsius was impacted by the news of the Chapter 11 filing. Another interesting detail is found in Celsius's terms and conditions, which states that any cryptocurrency asset deposited to the platform constitutes a loan from the user to Celsius. Customer funds might be viewed as unsecured loans to the platform because Celsius has not put up any collateral. Additionally, customers may not have any legal rights in connection with Celsius' commitments in the event of bankruptcy and any eligible digital assets used in the earned service or as collateral under the borrow service may not be retrieved. But another way, if bankruptcy occurs, the client's assets may not be recoverable. According to Bloomberg, the CEO of Celsius Network, Alex Mashinsky, said in a sworn declaration that the company is trying to obtain new financing. Still, those talks made it clear that bankruptcy was necessary. He also added that the number of digital assets on the company's platform grew faster than the company was ready to deploy and, as a result, made what, in hindsight, proved to be certain poor asset deployment decisions, Mashinsky said when detailing the path that led Celsius to bankruptcy. His final statement left me wondering, as should you, whether the crypto market crash made the crypto lending giant topple or certain poor asset deployment decisions, as the CEO narrated. But of course, if it was the latter, that means whether or not the coin market took a pounding, Celsius would have still gone broke. Is that it?